Hi, I'm Jessie, owner of Blue Barrel Rainwater Catchment Systems. You can find all of our information at bluebarrelsystems.com. Today, I'm gonna to teach you a couple of different methods for measuring the water level in your blue barrel system. So first of all, this is a very basic blue barrel system setup. Um, this is a seven barrel system. You get to choose how many barrels are in your system. We have a downspout diverter here that grabs water from a standard downspout, delivers it into the barrels, and actually handles overflow as well when the system's full. Now our system design is very unique. It's all plumbed underneath, so all seven barrels are filling and emptying, and we can fully drain the system through this gravity-fed drip irrigation system. And we have all the parts and information on our website about that and lots of other videos, so I won't go into detail about this part of it. Um, but what I will show you today is not one, but two methods for measuring the water level in your barrels. So the first one is a simple tank gauge, um, and this is available in our tools and accessories menu. Um, and what it is, is just a float and a dial, and it's a numberless dial, um, which actually works great for a blue barrel system because the gauge doesn't know how many barrels you have. So it's never gonna know how many gallons you have, but it will know what percentage full or empty you are. So that's what we're trying to accomplish here. And if I didn't make it clear with the under plumbing, all of your barrels are always gonna equalize and they'll have the same level, unless you try to control the water level with valves, which you can do. But um, for a basic setup, you just need one tank gauge on the whole system and you're gonna get an accurate measurement for the water level in all of your barrels. So the way, first you have to calibrate this. So what you do is you just pop the lens off, um, comes off pretty easily. Um, and I, I cheated and loosened it ahead of time, but you can actually use a nickel to kind of um, help you get it off there. Um, and in order to calibrate it, what you do is kind of hold it at the level where it'll be installed. Now, when, when your barrels are full, this little white thing is gonna float and it's gonna be about there. So that green arrow is already in the right place. When the barrels are empty, you know, this is gonna float on top of the water and the, it's gonna fall all the way down here. So I'm looking at the little black part of the dial. If you wanna zoom in, that little black thing you can see moving there. And um, for empty, I'm just gonna use my finger to move the empty around there and let's double check i think i'll move it just a little bit there we go that's about right now people ask us you know why aren't we using the whole 360 here that's because this piece actually works with tanks up to 100 inches tall um so the numberless dial is a really flexible way to do this so and but i am able to see you know the dials there i'm half full if it's there, I'm real close to full, and by the time it's there, I'm nearly empty. So this has been a really effective way to measure. Um, and it installs really easily. So first I'm gonna put the lens back on and snap it securely. Um, and I did pre-drill my hole just so you didn't have to watch me fight with a drill bit, but it was very easy to do. We use um, a one and a quarter inch drill bit. These are available and inexpensive on our website. Um, and actually I will mention um, as a quick hack, cause I love hacks, the one and a half inch size also works just perfectly. And if you ordered our DIY rain kit, this is the same size you use to drill this inlet hole. So you can get away with just having the one and a half inch drill bit. Um, you don't actually need to buy the extra one. Um, and then once I'm all ready, I'm gonna install this here. The, the one and a quarter inch drill bit gives you a really tight um, set up. So I really have to kind of shove to get the float in and lucky for me, I have a hammer right here. I'm just going to gently, yikes, real tight. Okay, there we go. And it's in, I heard it kerplop. And then the last part to install, we're just going to line up these holes and the rubber, this, this little foam layer helps it seal really nicely. And it comes with screws. So I'm just gonna, whoops, one screw here. All right, that was easy. And then one in the back. Okay, so easy as pie. Now, let's see what the gauge is telling us. Wow, it's telling us about half full, so let's see. And by the way, I really can't, I really can't tell by tapping that we're half full. And same, you know, sometimes if you have direct sunlight on your barrels, which um, isn't great if you're getting lots of hours of that, the water will heat up and then you can feel it, but it's really hard to tell without some kind of gauge. 
Um, the other option we have on our website, it's a little more expensive, but this is really cool. It's called a liquid level sensor. Um, and mine's a little bit old and beat up. It's been well loved, um, but this works like a stud finder to sense the water level in your barrels. So what you do here, you calibrate it on a part of the barrel that you know is empty. So I usually use the top because there usually isn't water flush up against the top of the system. And you push this yellow button until you get two flashes. It only gave me, oh, there we go. Well, let's see. And then you just run it along the side. Me. Oh, there we go. So you see it's as I pass over the water level, it's lighting up and it beeps at me when I get there. So you see how that works? I can go back and forth over the water level and it's telling me exactly where it is. So it looks like both methods are telling me exactly the same thing. My water level is right at about halfway there. Um, you wanna zoom out and I'll show this one more time from a bigger distance. There we go. Whoop, there's my water level right there. So there you have it, two separate ways of measuring the water level in your tanks. We have a third kind of DIY hack outlined on our website in a blog if you wanna search for that. And that's how to build a little sight gauge on your system. That's another kind of neat way to do it. So anyway, I hope this has been instructive today. Um, get out there, harvest some rainwater, and I hope to see you in the garden.